think maybe there might be a better vantage point. Oh shit. Sheet. Ugh. Ooh, red mushrooms. Kick butt. Wow. That is a hell of a view. It's a lot bigger than it looks, isn't it? Hey, I think I destroyed some red mushrooms. Oh, punks. So there's our wonderful little area. Here's the gold stone that I want to get. That looks that's a lot higher than I thought it was. Shoot. I'm trying to see here. Ooh man, that gas is awful close. I see you, you little punk. I wonder. This is risky. Because if I build a bridge out there of like dirt or whatever, the gas could just blow it up. I would probably fall to my death. Which would not be pretty cool. It's <laughs> like a gas right around that corner. Little bugger. Is there any other way I can get up to that? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, burn, you sons of bitches. Like a little cavern area here. Ooh. Ow. Oh wait, there's a nice deposit right here. Let's let's mine that instead. Oh fuck, maybe not. Oh no, you don't. Come in closer, bitch. Oh no, you don't. That's right. I'm gonna kick your ass. Stupid gas. Accuracy wins. That's right. Who is your daddy? All right, so let's get some of this gold stone. This is a really nice deposit. Real easy to get to. Very rare, from what I've seen. Everything we've seen, it looks like these are probably a good safe bet of what you're gonna have to use to make lanterns, which should make lantern making quite interesting. Of course, that's when it ever it gets added. Ooh, there's another one down there. Yeah, you can pretty much break this barehanded, apparently. From what I read. And like I said, I did mine some of this before. That's right, burn. Burn, you ghasts. He is awful close. <laughs> I see you, but you can't see me. That's right. I will kill you, you little bastard. Glowstone is pretty cool stuff. So you break it down. Get this wonderful little glow dirt, I guess you could call it. If you uh, put it in a crafting bin uh, up to all nine spaces, you could actually make a block. Oh shit. Interesting. Ha! I win again. Bitches. Apparently, this, this stuff is immune to ghasts. That's awesome. It's good to know. Makes sense, though, considering they're usually found. Damn, this is a nice, rich vein. I got lucky. I'm in the glowstone. I'm in the glowstone. Very lucky here. As you can see, it's getting darker around here as I take out this glowstone. This stuff is illumination, illuminating, so 
And apparently it can work underwater if you put one of these blocks underwater. Which is pretty freaking cool. I need to douse that. I don't want it falling into the fire because it will be destroyed. Alright, let me... Can't quite reach that. There we go. A lot darker over here now, isn't it? Burn, baby, burn! Not exactly the safest place, but whatever. Stone Central. Very nice. It's very obviously brittle. Woo! I got dark quick. Wow. Some serious glowstone edge kick butt. All right, nice. That wasn't so bad. That was even better than I thought. <laughs> Burn. I need to mark something here, and this is for future. That's why I need to mark this. So, I need to kind of Basically, what I'm gonna do is get up here and mark the torch. Whoa! That's right, you burn. There we go. Hopefully, that'll mark it. Just for easier to find from that direction. Okay. That was fun. Head on back now. That was actually a much better mining experience with glowstone than I expected. I got really lucky with that node there. Wow. Very awesome. Because usually you'll find it kind of like that, stag lights coming from the ceiling, if you will. And I just got extremely lucky with that node there. It's a big one. Kick butt. Alright. So we got that taken care of. We're going to put this away. And then we're going to get ready for our trip. Yes, we're going to take a little trip. Uh, we're going to get in a boat. We're going to head out to sea. And we're going to find a place to set down an outpost. Now, uh, an outpost is much, 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 much different. I'm going to need that from from my forts. And the difference primarily is... Sorry, I'm trying to think. The difference primarily is that outposts uh, are not built out of a hill or... Uh, side of a hill, side of a mountain, whatever. I usually, see, I didn't mind some. I usually, I'm going to build it, because this is the first time I'm going to be doing this, obviously. I'm going to be building it pretty much from the ground up. It might have, like, at least one underground, la or underground layer, or a um, lower level, or whatever, that's, like, in the dirt, or whatever. And that'll be, like, for the portal room. Um, that's the wrong way. 
but mainly with the outpost four, we're not going to do any complexes. It's not a major structure. It's basically have the basic necessities and storage space, and probably a dock, since we'll be uh, doing it from sea level or whatever. Try it. I do need to go all the way up. So that's kind of what we're going to be looking at here. And the main reason we're going to do that is because I'm going to make a proper mine. Now these, we've been doing a lot of cave mining, and it's been serving us just fine. But I'm trying to think towards the future. Sooner or later, you know, our cave mines are going to go out, or we're not going to find enough stuff that we need. You know, for example, right now we're kind of short on diamond. And the other thing about cave mining is, is you know, I like to explore the caves and have you guys follow along with me. And when I just need to mine stuff, it's kind of hard to do that. So, you mean I do it a little bit for a lot of the other stuff, like the labyrinth areas that you guys know. But, uh,. This way I can go mine stuff and you guys don't have to, it'll be pretty boring and tedious and you guys don't have to watch, you know. So I'm going to show the start of it and all that good stuff and this is basically us going out, finding the four, or sorry, finding the place for our outpost, establishing our outpost, getting it set up, establishing a portal back here so we can set up a supply line, maybe even a dock. I'm going to bring a compass with us just in case we need to get back the good old-fashioned way or we need to get back to the uh, to the uh, outpost and all that good good crap so that's the plan so what we need is materials so we're gonna take all this here um, primarily we need uh, a lot of cobble uh, and because that's basically what our outpost is going to be made out of is cobble. So we're going to be taking a lot because we're not going to dig too much for, uh, for it. So most of what we carry is going to be cobble. We will be taking some obsidian, mainly just enough for our portal. So we can build a portal to the nether back. Oh yes, we're going to need more coal. There we go. Some nice coal. I'm going to take a bucket of water with us because I may not have... No, we should be near a dock, so a bucket of water shouldn't be needed too much. There we go. There's 14. Okay. Anything else we need to bring with us? Um, glass might be a good idea. I'll just take that stack. Do, 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 do. What else? More cobble. I don't have enough cobble. I swear. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're we're packing ourselves quite full. You can use that as extra sword space if you're not crafting, so it's quite handy. Um, I don't think it will save it, though, if you quit. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. It's the first time I've ever done it, so I guess we'll find out. I've got space for one more thing. Uh, what else should I bring? I might make some leather armor for me to wear. I'm not sure yet. Got 19 arrows, that should be plenty. You got 40 sticks, 32 wood, that's good. Any other wood we'll be able to get on site. Oh, Lord. Got that and everything. What do you guys think we need? Got enough dirt. If I'm gonna do any digging, I should have enough dirt as well. You think we should bring some?